everybody. So I'm going to try to do a video with this new setup that I have. Might be a little blurry. I don't know. Um, I just moved a couple weeks ago and now my studio is huge. So if anybody wants me to do like a studio tour thing, let me know and I will try to get around to it. I've been kind of busy. So um, some of these are like super old from Halloween and then some of them are beginning Christmas pieces because um, I just haven't gotten around to doing anything lately. So the first thing that I did was I resined a whole bunch of these little things and yeah, I don't know how to work this new setup where it'll actually focus. Maybe. No. It's going to be a pain. How about if I bring in the camera like that? Yep, still not going to focus. Yeah, maybe. There we go. All right. So I did a bunch of these, and uh, I have to resin the back of them still. And I don't know what I was going to do with them, but... Yeah, they're just domed on the top. They're just little pieces of paper. And I did a bunch. Like, a bunch. All of these are all the paper things. And then, I did some skulls. Just some regular skulls and I was going to paint them and I never got around to it because I was moving and these this one has like stuff in it but I was going to paint them and these are with the 10 minute resin and I did four of these ones same thing I was going to paint them but I never got around to it so I'm probably still going to do that um, it's never too late for skulls even though it's not Halloween anymore I don't really care and then I did two of these and then I was going to paint these as well, so I did all of those with the 10 minute resin. And then, so sorry for all, like the Halloween pieces, I know it's super late for Halloween, but that's okay. So then I did this one, I don't like it, so I think I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And then I did this one, and this one has a bunch of... Like glitter got in front of the sticker. I don't know. You can kind of see it there. But I don't know. It's cute. And then this one. It's like a little tile piece. And I'm super upset because when I use my heat gun, this happened to the sticker. You, it's not, it's not watermarks because it's like a plastic sticker, but I don't know. Maybe it melted or something. I'm just sad because it was cute otherwise. So I think I'll just keep this and use it for my own Halloween decorations for next year and it's got the little bloody bone things in there bunches of glitter and then I did this one and it's like super matte cause I never domed it and then there's like no glitter here which is a bummer but it's just backed in um, green and purple and the 10 minute resin, I really like this 10 minute resin so then I have just a few Christmas pieces there's this one that's got a little teddy bear and a little candy and a star and some of the rhombus glitters and the hearts and then it's just white backing I just have to dome it and I'm probably gonna make an ornament out of it I don't know, we'll, we'll see and then this one which didn't, I think I put too much glitter and I really didn't put that much glitter but it's so see-through, this sticker, that you can't really see it. But it's a snowflake, and it says Merry Christmas. And then there's a little snowflake up there. So I'll probably redo that one. And then this one, it's a little Santa. These stickers are so see-through. It's just a bummer. that you, you can't, like, use any glitter with it, so. And then there's this one, which I thought turned out pretty well. I put the, um... The Recollections little snowflake glitter sequin things and then a snowflake sticker and just some glitters in the back. I think it's pretty. And 
then here's the last one. Just a little dove with a, a pine cone and a little acorn. This mold is kind of wonky though. I don't know if you can, you can't really tell, but it's kind of wonky like in the middle. I don't know how it, it like dips right here. It's And it's such a slight little dip, but like I can feel it. And you can't really, well, you can kind of tell. Maybe that'll be fixed when I dome it, who knows. Hopefully, I can fix it. So that's uh, all I've done with resin, and then I'll show you guys this, which is a necklace that my I made for my mom for Christmas, and I'm going to move this, and then put that there, so I'm going to move the camera. Whoa! Sorry. So my mom and I went to a gym show, and she picked this out, and she really likes it, so I wire wrapped it. And then on here we've got pearls and some black glass beads and then in there we've got the labradorite and then that's what these are, these little drops um, are labradorite and then pearls and then like a really light pink crystal rondelle and then just black faceted glass beads. So yeah, super simple and that's what it looks like. Still trying to figure out the lighting in this lighting box. I think I'm going to get better lamps because the lamps aren't great that came with it. The light that's coming from the top is great, but it's the light bulbs, I think. They're not like that light bulb. So, yeah. But let me show you guys real quick. I don't know if you can see, but this is like, yeah. Can't really see because the lighting's bad, but I have like this huge huge space for uh, crafting now. So if anybody wants a tour, let me know down below. And thank you everybody for sticking around while I'm being lazy and not doing anything. And I'm getting back in the crafting room tonight and hopefully, you know, get out of this funk that I've put myself in. So thank you for watching. Bye.